to hold on to those things that are uncomfortable. But God is holy. He is holy God. He is holy God. Worthy is the Lamb of God. So we must walk in faith, not wavering. Come away from evil and God deliver us from temptation and evil. We're no longer walking in the old ways when we're walking with the fresh oil, the fresh anointing. God sees us in a new light. His light shines within us by day and by night. He cleanses us with his manna from heaven. He feeds us with the bread of life, the bread of heaven. He is our sacrificial lamb. He is our blessed hope. He is our redeemer. We walk differently. People will see a newness in spirit, a newness, a new light shining within you. He keeps us from our enemies. Our enemies blesses us. When we're walking in new wineskins and new oil, fresh oil, a fresh anointing. The fresh anointing of God delivers our enemies into our hands, makes our enemies our footstool. We are blessed coming in and blessed going out. I declare and I decree. God is awesome. He is worthy to be praised. He is provider. He is deliverer. He is the way, the truth, the light, and your portion. We observe his statutes, everyone. We observe his anointing, his covenants. We embrace the anointing of God with the fire offering of fire to him. Denying ourselves, receiving his goodness, his grace, we vow to the Lord God with contribution of our grain offering, the wine, the corn, and the oil. We are the olive branches of God. We are the true branches. We are his true seeds. We are his true anointed ones, anointed and appointed for such a time as this. So greater is he in me than he is in the world. We walk in newness, forsaking none other. Certain things are not permitted to go. We have to leave the old things, everybody. This is newness. This is freshness. This is your new beginnings. This is your new life. This is abundance. You're no longer walking in poverty, but in abundance, spiritually and physically. When God gives you his new fresh oil, the flesh is crucified. We're walking steady as you go. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, receiving your rest and your inheritance everybody. In Deuteronomy 12, 9, it says, For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. But when you go over Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God giveth you to the inherited, you to inherit, and when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so they ye dwell in safety. See, the Lord gives us rest from our enemies. All right, he delivers our enemies in our hands. I keep saying this over and over again. He will deliver your enemies into your hands. He will fight for you and you need only be still to hold your peace. Then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, your heave offerings of your hand, and all your choice vows, which ye vow unto the Lord. See, we are taking vows to God. 
We vow that we are of him. We vow that we are being obedient. We vow that we are walking in his statutes, in his covenants. We vow that we putting him first in our lives. And ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God. Ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants and the Levites that is within your gates. For as much as he have no part nor inheritance with you. See, we sit at the gate and watch our enemies. We watch our enemies bless us in Jesus' name. Take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest. See, we have to offer our burnt offerings up to God. We offer ourselves to God. We don't offer ourselves to the world. All right? Because the world is in enmity with God. The world knew or not. We offer ourselves as first fruits, first anointings, the anointed ones. We offer them up to God. All right? So lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. But in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of thy burnt offerings and there thou shalt do all that I command thee. So we, we, we are doing everything that God command us to do. If God say go out there and warn the wicked, we warn the wicked. If God say go out there and speak against witchcraft in the church, we, we warn him. We're warning we're not pleasing man. We're pleasing God, the Father in heaven, the Lord thy God who was and is to come, who, who raised, brought his son in the propitiation for us. We're walking in the covenant. All right? The hardened hearts God removes and give us flesh hearts. All right? The heart to know him the heart to seek him, the heart to fear him, the heart to reverence him. See, he is a God who shall not lie. What he say he will do. He sta we stand on his promises, the promises to give us expected hope and end. He is our blessed hope, our everlasting, our everlasting, our provider. He provides whatever we stand in need of. All right? We lack for nothing in Psalms 23. You know, I fear no evil for God is with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. See, fresh oil. He's anointing us, everybody. He's anointing you to walk as fresh oil. In the new oil and the new wine scans. That means you're no longer walking in disobedient. You're no longer walking in darkness. You're no longer walking like there's no God. That means you're talking and you're walking in the anointing of Christ Jesus. That you're seeking him with all your heart, all your soul. That you're submitting everything to him everything, everything, all of you to him, all right? He restores everything because what the devil meant for evil, the Lord meant it for our good. So he is in the restoration business. He give you your heart's desires. He remove you from the unclean things. He says to touch not the unclean things, everybody. Notwithstanding that you mayest kill and eat flesh in all the gates, thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or thy wine, or other oil, or the firstlings of thy herds. Or of the flock, nor any of the vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings, or heave offerings of thine hand, the grain and the contribution. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, thou and thy son and thy daughter, and thy man servant and thy maid servant, and the Levites that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God in all that thou puttest thy hands to do. See, 
when we walk in fresh oil, the things that we put our hands to, God will turn it good. He'll make it for our good, everybody. All right. It, you know, Joseph has been in my mind lately, how his brothers um, sold him into slavery behind jealousy because he was the father's favorite, but the father knew that Joseph was the anointed one, an appointed one. See, how did God turn Joseph around? He put him over top of Potiphar's house. The brothers that sold him into slavery had to come back and ask him for food, the feed be fed. He put Joseph in Potiphar's house in Egypt to be over the nation to feed them. So the devil, what the devil meant for evil, God meant it for his good. And Joseph met his father again before he died. And the father realized that Joseph never died at all. That it was a lie. It was all a lie. See, God will take that thing and turn it all around for your good. People that's been lying on you, God will turn it around for your good. People that's trying to destroy you, God will handle your enemies and turn it around for good. He will turn it all around. He destroys evil. He destroys the abominable things. He destroys the witchcraft that people are trying to come up against you with. All right? When you're his vessel, when you're anointed with the new wine skins, the new oil, the fresh oil, the fresh anointing, there will be jealousy. People will try to come against you because they don't like what you have. You have the bread of life. You have the manna from heaven. You're covered through the blood. You're walking on solid ground, on dry land. Holy God, hallelujah. I'm feeling greatness right now. And I'm feeling anointing of God on this word, everyone. You're walking in newness, in the healing of God. You're walking in righteousness. You're walking in your new beginnings, in your new blessings, in your new breakthroughs, everybody. You're walking and fulfillment. You're walking in the fulfillment of God. You're walking in the love of God. You're walking in the mercy of God. You're walking in the grace of God. You're walking in his healing and his anointing and his fire. His Holy Ghost fire is over you, is indwelling in your heart, burning with the living word, the Holy Ghost anointing and fire over you and your life. All right. So the, you are first fruits, sons and daughters. When you're walking in fresh oil. Father God is so holy. We are friends of God as Abraham. He said, I go to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies and come back and receive you unto myself. Thank you, Father. I thank you for receiving us. Removing us from the enemies. Our foot is on the enemy's neck. I rebuke witchcraft, sorcery, divination, soothsaying. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It must crush and burn by fire. You all, he is living waters over us. He is the living vine, the protection, the holiness let us walk in greatness and the inheritance and our rest. Going over Jordan with the walls of Jericho falling down around us, everybody. He is healer, deliverer, deliverer, provider, protector. He heals, protects, provides, delivers. Lord of Lord and King of Kings, everlasting Father. We partake of the vow through the covenant of the one and only true God. The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father, Son, and one of He. So rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. Be holy because the Lord is holy. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Walk in the vows and the statutes. 
you are the first fruits. You walk in with him, giving your whole heart over to him. He restores us. He gives us the newness, the abundance, the bigger portion. You are restored, renewed, and made whole and set free when you're walking in the fresh oil, everybody, the fresh anointing. God is so awesome. Do you ever turn around and just think when you wake up in the morning and say, thank you for the things I can't even see that you're doing for me? The, the, the protection that, that you're keeping us from of the evil that want to devour us. Do you ever think that and feel that everybody in your, in your spirit? Just thank him for the things he's keeping us from that we don't see. Because he's not going to allow us to see everything, some things he'll allow us to see spiritually. But some of the things that he's keeping us from, we don't even know that he's just trying to come. Can you imagine all the things that he must see trying to come up against us because we standing on the promises of God? Standing at the door and open the door up when he knock for, for our opportunities to, to come. So when, when you're obedient and you're toiling, he see you're toiling. You will receive your just deserve and your just due. But the new wine skins and, and the new oil cannot go into the old wine skins, everybody. It, it will not fit there. All right? It's not permitted to go. It, it's, it doesn't belong. The old people, some of the old people, they don't belong in your life. Some of the old things and places that you've been doing, they don't belong over with the new things. All right? He has to cleanse us. Freshness, newness, new things. Bigger things, better things, greater things. All right? So may you be blessed. Let me pray before I go. This has been a lovely lesson with the anointing of God and the fire of God. Rain down a manna from heaven over you all. Let, may the impartation of Elijah and Elisha, the double portion, fall on your lives. In Jesus' name, the sons and daughters will prophesy, will prophesy dream dreams and have visions such as in Joel. The prodigal sons and daughters come back. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Jesus, for this word, for this awesome word. Let your light shine a fresh oil a fresh anointing over us garments are praised the white garments are praised we're walking in your statues we're walking in your covenant we walk in the healing and blessings of god may the viewers listeners subscribers sender and receivers be blessed with the blood of the lamb of god with the new fresh oil in jesus mighty name holy god god is so holy you all be blessed. This is Lisa. I'll come to you again with another lesson. Bye-bye.